in Britain, even if it's a different face to the one he had in the 80s. But when Pete Burns sang You Spin Me Round in the Big Brother House, there was simply no mistaking the voice. And thanks to the exposure, the song is back in the top five. Yes, his fur coat and acid tongue made him one of the most controversial and entertaining contestants on the show. I'm delighted to say he's with us now. Good evening, Pete. Uh, first of all, let's start with the congratulations. Tell us why. Um, why what? Uh, uh, congratulations. Why we're congratulating oh, to start you. off with. Uh, it, Something it, special happened yesterday? Uh, so, well, we did get engaged, but unfortunately, it's off. Would you believe it's a bit like Elizabeth Taylor and that's Richard Burton? That's the shortest Burton. engagement in showbiz history. No, Kate. it's what still happened? on. I think the whole pressure that's gone on around me has really taken its toll on Michael. He's from a very ordinary life, and I've existed since childhood as an outsider, outside of society, and I'm used to that position. And uh, everything's gone really crazy around me and I wasn't prepared for it, but it, it's really emotionally broken him down, so he, he's gone away to recover for a while. And uh, we've had no real quality time together, and that's not really possible right now, because in the celebrity culture, there are so many celebrities now, you, you can't sit back on your laurels and, and wait to make decisions. You have to grab everything as it comes. It's all because of Big Brother, isn't it? It's, it's been an amazing few weeks in terms of it. Look, can I just take you back to there just for a few minutes? Because it's, it's interesting talking to you before and everything. This is the first time that we've, we've obviously met you. Tell us about the Pete Burns inside the house. Are you really, I've got to ask the question, are you really as nasty as Eleanor? Well, you see, the thing is that I've not seen the show and I'm yeah. not sorry for a damn thing that I said. The whole structure of Big Brother is about cause and effect, yeah. um, and they don't show the cause. Yeah. It's a situation of sensory deprivation, sleep deprivation, fresh air deprivation, food deprivation, and everybody has a role that they're edited into. It's an extremely creative show that's put together by a team of eminent psychologists to hit people's trigger points. The case in point being, that I am absolutely confident whether they want to sue me or not, but it's rigged. It was obvious Chantal was going to win. You're saying quite a lot of negative things it's not about negative. the show. Why, do you, why, why would that be negative? Well, if you think it was f if you think it was rig rigged and fixed, clearly yeah. you're not happy about. Well, that. I wanted to go after the first week. Why did no, you I'm do it? Why did you because I go needed into the money? The show. Is I that the, the only reason? The totally, the only reason I needed the money. Where do you go from here, Pete? Because yesterday you were you were a happy man. Today I'm a very happy man. You know, we, we all have to deal with our problems on our own, and he's got to deal with his issues with this. There's no turning back for either of us now. But he hasn't realised the impact. I love him dearly, but he hasn't realised the impact uh, of what fame would do to our lives. I mean. I've not always been famous. I've been notorious or infamous. Now I'm actually famous. You've been famous for a long time. I mean, going back to the 80s, you spin me around. It's been re-released. I re -released. was famous in the 70s and the punk time. My time was the 76, 77 Was time. that your happiest time? Best time. Youth culture will never have anything like that again. The, the song has been re-released. You said you didn't want it to be. Are well, you happy well, now that it's done so well? well? I, I'm th what I'm fundamentally happy about is it's a great song and it set a precedent in the music industry to take music that was judged as belonging in gay clubs into the mainstream and it put Stock Aiken Waterman on the map. We were the only act that they ever worked with that wrote their own material. Um, I, I, what I'm completely overwhelmed by, and I, I don't know how to actually... Um, quantify the feeling is that it seems like the British public really love me and I've been welcomed into the homes and wherever I go on the street little old ladies workmen really unlikely people are saying that they love me and I'm not quite sure how to because I'm so used to uh, having names shouted at me and things thrown at me and now that show you can refer to me as being nasty and acid tongued but the public love me because the public aren't as stupid as the media would like them to believe Okay, thank you so much for coming in and good luck with everything. Buy the record and move it up. I'm <laughs> <laughs> and you're plugging your record. Thank you it's very much. It's a great much, record. Please. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thanks.